Hey, Coach, how are you today? Good, good. How are you? I'm good. So it's been about two months since we last spoke. That was right after it got announced you were going into the Ring of Fire. I want to know, in those last couple of weeks, last couple of months, who's been reaching out to you to congratulate you before you get inducted this weekend? Um, I think Frank said uh, Jesse Marsh, I think, called today. Obviously, Lubos, who's in. You know, I see CJ a decent amount. Um, just a lot of people that left messages um, on that video that you saw um, on the day that I found out um, have all reached out and, and congratulated me and wished me the best. Thank you. Next, we'll go to Joe Chats from ONTAP Sportsnet. Thanks, E. Thanks, Zach. How are you? Congratulations again. Thank you very much. Of course. And Zach, in terms of you've been around this organization for a long time, I don't I don't want to make you feel old, but <laughs> I was two when you first arrived here. <laughs> so just your longevity with this franchise, with Major League Soccer, you, you are a fixture of this sport and this league. Uh, I'm curious how you're feeling, you know, over 20 years later since you've started just being a part, you are a part of history and a positive part of history. Well, yeah, I mean, my, my first team was the New York, New Jersey Metro Stars, 96, 97, uh, the beginning of the league. Um, and to, to be back in Chicago in 2024 to see the growth of the league is, is amazing. Um, I guess some of the biggest things would be infrastructure. I mean, we trained at Keene College um, in, in New Elizabeth, New Jersey, um, and now every team has an amazing training facility, an amazing stadium. Um, the quality of coaching um, has has grown tremendously. So, I mean, the, the league is, is only going up and only getting to a higher and higher standard. And if I may ask about your, your own higher standards, uh, bringing it to the higher standard and elevating the level of play. How important has it been for you to give back to the players in this league? Because we can look at the roster of players you've worked with. They've all gotten better and uh, become very good players after working with you. Well, yeah, once I got done um, playing, I coached a little bit. I volunteered at my alma mater, Loyola University, then I was a associate head coach at Villanova University, um, and then I was in D.C. United for seven years in Houston last year and, and, and back in Chicago. Um, it's, 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 it's great to, to see the growth um, of players and, and goalkeepers when you're working with them. Um, um, over the long haul, you know, you don't get too up, you don't get too down, you just kind of stay the course and, you know, and you, you trust the process. Um, it, it's really satisfying to me to, to see uh, the benefits and the growth of keepers uh, that I've worked with. Thank you, Zach. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we'll go to Tim Hotze from Men in Red 97. Zach, um, and again, congrats on, on, on being inducted. Uh, looking forward to this weekend. Thank you. Um, so Frank talked about leadership and the leadership that, that you provide and, and how you're able to get the most out of the, the goalkeepers that you work with, at, you know, across ages. Um, I was wondering how you think something like having the ring of fire as part of the organization, sort of like a you know, a team hall of fame, um, is, is useful in, in helping you kind of like shape and mold the, the values of the organization in that, that next generation that you're working with. Um, I think it's, it's more like a feather in the cap, you know, a little cherry on top, but because the way I, I view it is I, I first have to earn the trust of the goalkeeper. So they trust me. Uh, and then it's a, it's a group effort. We work together, you know, it's not, it's not a dictatorship. Um, that's the kind of the process that, that I take when I'm working with co-keepers. Um, and then maybe some of the younger ones, you know, that are <laughs> a little too young, you know, obviously don't remember me playing and they can see that, oh, well, you know, coach, he might know what he's talking about. You know, he's done this before and he's done it at a high level. So, yeah, I think, I think it's definitely helpful for sure. Okay, we'll go back around. Oh, Alex, I see your hand is back up. We'll go to you. Yes, I wanted to ask a little bit more about Chris Brady in general because this season has been ups and downs, of course. I want to know what growth you've seen from him since the start of this year, since it's his second season now as the number one. Well, 
like I say it all the time when I'm talking about Chris, Chris's ceiling is, um, there's, there's no limit. Chris can go and play and do whatever he, he wants to do and do in the sport. Um, what I like about Chris this year is his presence and maturity. He's definitely matured, um, his presence in the goal, um, the shot stopping, all the goalkeeping stuff. I mean, that, that stuff has improved as well, but I just, well, I like how he handles himself um, on the field. Thank you. And Joe, do you have a last question? Yeah, Zach, I'm sorry. I got to ask you more about yourself on this one. But I'm curious, when you get these life moments, you get these honors, who do you think of that helped you get to this? Was it a family member? Is it coaches from growing up? Who is that first person that mm -hmm. comes to mind when uh, these amazing things come in your life? Well, first, I mean, I thank God because without him, none of this is possible. But then I, I think about my parents. Um, my dad was an athlete. Um, my mom's tall. She wasn't an athlete. <laughs> she just wanted me to make sure I was having fun. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, those are those are the, the first two people that come to mind. All the sacrifices they did, um, you know, to get me to this point and um, driving me to games and always supporting me, always being behind me. So uh, at first, I always always think of my parents. Of course, and I, are you uh, comfortable saying you were right to not play football uh, as your dad commanded? <laughs> I think so. I think everything worked out all right. Awesome. Glad to hear it. Thank you, Zach. Thank you so much, Zach. We really appreciate you taking the time. No problem. Thank you. Sorry I was late. No, you were right on time. <laughs>